actually starts so much better when I'm just talking like this, like just really casually and not going anywhere. So I'm just going to start it like this, see where it goes, and hopefully not mess up the entire thing again. So what I'm attempting to do is show you how to use a Twitter API through Python. Now first of all, what you want to do is have a Twitter account. And on that Twitter account, you want your mobile number connected, otherwise you're not able to do this. Once you have all that done, go to apps.twitter.com and click this button here, create new app. Then once you go into here, it's going to prompt you for a name, description, and a website. The name has to be a unique name, and the website can be anything, because as it says it here, you don't need a website, you just need a placeholder for this, you can change it later. So for the name, I'm just going to put in test, test, one, two, three, four, test, because hopefully that's not taken. Description, test, eating, which can be a good description. The website, we'll just do HTTP, and then test.com. Now, there's a developer agreement here. Now, I'm not going to read this, but maybe you might want it, but, you know, I'm not going to. So, we're going to agree and create a Twitter application. So, once we get to here, it says something has been maximum 10 characters of something. Okay, apparently the description was wrong. So, we're going to have to put in a longer description. Longer, if that's how you spell longer. Yes. Now, we're going to go back down, and hopefully you can have to do that again. Okay, there we go. Now, create Twitter application. Now, will this work? Please work for me. All right, it's working. Now, from here, what we want to do is scroll down a bit, and there's a section called Application Settings. Now, there's an option here under Consumer Key, and it says Manage Keys and Access Tokens. We're going to want these because this is what's going to let our program connect with Twitter. Now, once you get to here, I'm just going to scroll down again. And what we do want, though, is in these Application Settings, is a Consumer Key and there's a Consumer Secret. Both them are necessary, and don't tell anyone these things because they can get into your Twitter account that way. So we want to keep these a secret. Now, after you, after you get these, you go down and click that thing that I clicked, and you get the access tokens, because it says create access tokens. It's right under the other stuff. Um, you can also revoke these so people can't get your account, or regenerate them in case you want to, you know, if someone sees these and you want to change them, which I'll be doing later, you just click one of these and you can reset the entire thing. So what we want is, what we want to take down is the consumer key, the consumer secret, the access token, and the access token secret. Now once we take them down, we're going to go to our application. That's my dog. Um, up here, we're going to have to import these two uh, libraries. So the Twitter and the TK inter, or however you pronounce that, I'm just going to say TK inter. Um, if you haven't installed these or don't know how to install them, look up how to install libraries through pip, I suggest, because I'm not going to show you how to do that in this. Right, now I'm going to explain all this code now. This here is the main part of the code. This is what we're using to make our window. So this, is, this will make the window, and this is calling our function up there, which I'll show you in a minute. So all the stuff here, I'll paste this in the description. But all this down to here is just stuff for the window. And then here, there's a button to that we'll call the tweet. This here, this uh, entry widget, an entry label, this is going to let us uh, enter something in for our to make our tweet. And this submit button is going to send it to this function. And up here, this is just for the window. So this is this can be fiddled around with if you want. That's, it doesn't need to be this way at all. So that's the, that's the code that's going to be running, and I'll show you the functions up here. So the functions up here are show tweets, get tweets, and tweet. So first of all, we want to get tweets. So I have a variable named x, and this code here, t.statuses.home underscore timeline, and then screen name, that's mine. So we can get the tweets off my feed, off from the people I'm following. Well, you can put your name in there, obviously, and get whoever you're you're following. Now, up here in the show tweets, we're going to have a for loop here. Well, I have a defined number here of number of tweets five, and that's how many tweets we're going to show from our, our page. Now, later on, if you know how to do a scrolling wheel, you can do a scrolling wheel later, and you can put much more tweets in there. But for now, I'm just making this a static window with no scrolling, so five is a big enough number. So here, what we want is in this, so for i in range of 0 to num, which is going to be 5, because it's passing the two number of tweets there. 
line 1 equals, and here in brackets, x i user and screen name. Because that's going to get the screen name of the user and it's going to post that first so you know who the tweet's from. And then line 2 is going to equal x i and text because that's going to give you the what they tweeted, the text in the tweet itself. So now we're going to make a label and we're going to add them in. So I'm just making a label master and then text one plus break line and then te plus text two and then another double break line to split the tweets up and then w.pack and that's going to that's going to display those tweets that we got. So all that's going to run well together but now we want to make a tweet we have to go down to here. So I have this as a global variable just so we can access down here because that's going to be what we enter into the box. See here the entry widget when we type something in it's going to go into this entry widget and we want to access what we typed in once we click that submit button. So up here we're going to have if entry widget dot get dot strip equals nothing then we're just going to print empty so we know it's not going to try tweet an empty tweet but if it's not empty we're going to have this T and I'll show you what this T is before I do the rest. This T is our Oh, you know all the codes that I told you to get? We're going to put this in t equals twitter and then in brackets ot and then put all this in uh, in the order of I have it up here which I'll also put in the description because token, token key, consumer secret and uh, consumer secret and then consumer secret key. So we put them in order in here so I'll throw, I'll throw them in the uh, description in blank because I won't be throwing my one and you put your own ones in here. So up here, t, because that's connected to that, dot statuses dot update, and statuses equals entry widget dot get the strip, because that's going to be the text that we put in that again. Remember from down there, after we click submit. Then to get rid of what we put in the box, just type in entry, entry widget dot delete, then zero to end, because that's deleting all the stuff in that text box that we put up. It's starting from the zero point to start and all the way to the end. And then I have just something saying print working here to make sure that I can actually see in here that it's working. Now that's pretty much everything. Um, all this code will be in the description. There's many other ways to do it. You can look at other people. You can look at specific people. You can look up people. There's many. Um, there's many different things I can do here. See where I have the screen name and the text. I can get the number of tweets and number of followers of a certain user. It's very simple. I'll send you a link to a website where all this code is, where it shows you how to the inf information on this library here. But that's pretty much it. So I'll run this here and we'll see what happens. So this comes up. These are five pages I'm following. And there's a box down here that says make a tweet. So first of all, I'll run back through what's happening here. So this text box here is this stuff here, the entry widget. So all this down here is to do with this. So if I wanted to change what have happened before that text box, just change that there. And if I want to change the size of it, I can just change this here. So and then the submit button is connected to that, the command tweet. And everything above that is just to do with the window, the name of the frame. So this entry widget, is, I just call it that because I grabbed that code off Stack Overflow, I believe. And up here, where we show the tweets, the line 1 equals uh, xi user screen name. There's a screen name there. IMDB, big data, wired, uh, all them. And then the text under them. So right under them, I'm putting their tweet. These are the latest tweets from each of these and the latest five tweets on my Twitter feed. And any more can be put in. If you change the number of, I'll show you here. If we want to change, you want to put more tweets in, it's going to change this number here to, let's say, 10. And there we go, there's more tweets. Now, to that's the wrong one. Now, to show how to make, it, to make a tweet thing working, I'm going to say, this works, and hit submit. Now here we can see it says working, that's got rid of it there. Now we're going to check if this is working by going onto my Twitter page. And as you can see, my latest tweet there, 11 seconds ago, this works. So my name is Andrew, that's been 
how to use a Twitter API with Python. And I'm out.